Hello and thank you for joining me today. My name is Wesley Boudreau, one of the financial advisors here with the Retirement Group. Today we're going to talk about the interest rates and how they're used to calculate the uh, ConocoPhillips employee pension lump sum and the severity of those changes we've seen with inflation, how that's affecting you from the third quarter to the fourth quarter of 2022. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody the Retirement Group, we are an independent financial advisory firm that focuses on working with corporate employees and helping them transition into retirement. We've been working with ConocoPhillips employees for quite some time. However, we are not endorsed nor employed by ConocoPhillips. But having done a lot of work with uh, employees and retirees, it gives us a deep understanding of your benefits plans, not just the pension, but also the 401k, healthcare retiree benefits, and things of that nature. Our goal is to help hold your hand through that transition process and from an employee to retiree and make sure you maximize your benefits from ConocoPhillips. Now, we do have offices throughout the country, so rest assured if you need to sit down with one of us face-to-face, -face, we can still accommodate you there, but obviously we can have conversations via phone or web meetings as well. And at the end of the day, if there's anything you take us up on, it's our complimentary cash flow analysis. If it's been a while since you've done one or you haven't done one at all with us, we do recommend spending a couple minutes with us gathering some data to run that review to let you see where you stand and it can help you determine the different options. And we'll go over some of these right now when it comes to the pension election process. So let's get into uh, kind of what we're looking at and what everybody's kind of concerned about right now is the drops in the pension lump sum based upon interest rate calculations. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that uh, the ConocoPhillips has got uh, a couple of different pension plans depending upon when you were hired. But uh, we're looking at, uh, at both the, uh, the, the Conoco and the Phillips plan, uh, the defined benefit plan and the calculations used for the uh, pension lump sum here. Those are classic benefits plans, in which case there is a, uh, a formula that determines what your income annuity is going to be for the rest of your life. From that point, if you want to have a period certain or a joint survivor, you can deviate. Or if you want to take that annuity and turn it into a lump sum, that's where interest rates come to play. So what they do is they go and look at your age, longevity, expectations, and the amount they're paying you on a monthly basis. Then they go out and look at the current interest rates to determine how much they have to give you for you to essentially go out and recreate that. So let's take a look at that seesaw on the top of this chart. What happens is when interest rates go down, which we saw them go down during the pandemic, it's going to increase your lump sum because it's uh, that much more they have to give you for you to go out and try and recreate the same income annuity. When interest rates go up, which we've been seeing happen drastically so far here in 2022 due to inflation, you'll start to see that lump sum value drop because let's face it, if they assume you can earn a higher interest rate, they don't have to give you quite as much. So think about it like a mortgage. When interest rates are higher, there's less house you can afford. When interest rates are lower, there's more. Now, unfortunately, what happens is when interest rates change, they have a direct correlation. So when those interest rates go up, uh, if they go up by, let's say, 1%, you're going to see a drop in your lump sum by anywhere from 8 to 12%. So let's just say roughly speaking, 1% equals 10%. We'll talk about this in just a moment. But the way they use the interest rates, there's a couple different uh, options. There's actually the Pension Protection Act segment rates, which are for post-2009. Before 2009, they used the average of the 30-year treasury from the fourth prior month to the, uh, to the existing quarter. What they do for the segment rates is they look at these segments for the fourth month prior to the quarter that you're commencing your benefits. And the segment rates are, uh, are first, second, and third segments. So the first segment covers the first five years of retirement, second segment years six through 20, and the third segment years 21 and beyond. So for most of us, the, uh, the, high, the, the highest weighting is gonna be on that second segment because it covers 15 years of, uh, of retirement. Let's go ahead and zoom into this chart so we can take a better look at it. But as I mentioned, they use the fourth prior month. So if we look at the first line, June 2022 is going to give us what the fourth quarter interest rates are going to be. So looking at that left to right, that first segment is 3.64%, second segment 4.8%, third segment 4.78, and the third year, which again was for prior to 2009, is 3.25%. Now March gave us what the third quarter is, which we're in right now. So you can see the difference there. That's 2.44%. 3.71% and 3.94%. If we look at the next couple lines, you can see it was lower over the last couple quarters as well. Now, unfortunately, we're past that, so we can't do anything about it. But if we look at that very bottom line I've put in there, just to give you an idea of the change from the third quarter to the fourth quarter, which is the most severe change we've ever seen, we look at that second segment, it's moving up by 1.2%. Uh, excuse me, the first segment, 1.2%. The second segment, 1.09% third segment 0.84% and the 30 year 0.84% as well. So let's go back to that, uh, that aspect I told you before about 1% equals about a 10% change. So if we look at that second segment, again, it's moving about 1.09%. So let's just round that to 1% for simple math. So what that means is 
if you have a million dollar lump sum calculation right now in the third quarter of, 20, uh, of 2022, and you decide to hang on for another month or two and go in the fourth quarter instead, you'll see a drop of probably about $100,000 or so in your pension lump sum calculation. We don't know where rates are going to continue to go, but if they continue to move up, you could see a more severe drop. If you got a higher lump sum of $2 million, you could see a drop of $200,000. If it's a lump sum of $500,000, you could see a drop of fifty. So what that means is uh, for most of us, uh, you know, $100,000 drop, $50,000 drop uh, from quarter to quarter is probably more than what we're making. So if we were to hang on for another uh, couple months or so, we're essentially working for free. So for any of you that were thinking about retiring this year or in the next two years, it's really important to look at this scenario to see if it makes sense to retire sooner rather than later so you can capture that lump sum benefit and uh, reduce the amount uh, that you could be losing if you hang on. Because essentially, if you work for another year or two, you could be working for not necessarily free, but for reduced, uh, a reduced pay because you're losing some money to that pension lump sum. Now, again, if you're taking the annuity, it does not have an effect on this. Uh, obviously, the annuity is going to be a fixed amount, so you're not going to see that change. Uh, the inflationary pressure is obviously eroding your purchasing power associated with that. But that's why it's important to look at all these side by side and see what your choices are. And ultimately speaking, the best way to do that, like I said before, is running that cash flow analysis we talked about. Uh, we can look at the annuity comparison to the lump sum side by side and show you how it looks not just now, but in 10, 20, 30 years down the road as well. Help make help you make that best decision when it comes time to pulling that trigger. That also leads into how the 401k should be allocated and looking at all those different decisions as well. But ultimately, in summary, uh, obviously what we're seeing is the most severe change we've seen from quarter to quarter on interest rates, which means the most severe drop from lump sums we've seen from a quarter to quarter basis. So if you are thinking about retiring in the near future, it's really important to give us a call to at least just see where you stand, run that cash flow analysis and see what those numbers look like side by side. So uh, you have an idea of where you stand now and also in the future if you decide to work a couple more years down the road as well. But again, ultimately speaking, if you have any questions on this, just give us a call. You can reach us at 1-800-900-5867. You can also reach us at info at the retirementgroup.com. If you're tech savvy, go ahead and hold your cell phone up there. We got a couple QR codes. You can uh, one's going to get you to uh, to a scheduling uh, appointment with myself or one of the other advisors in the office. If you'd like to sit down and talk about your situation, uh, or if you'd like to uh, just make sure you get updated uh, on our LinkedIn page specific to Conoco Phillips employees, so we'll give you the updated interest rates and other changes as we see them coming down the pipeline. Uh, you can do that as well. But at the end of the day, like I said, uh, remember, uh, we've been working quite extensively with ConocoPhillips employees for quite some time. We've got a great understanding of the benefits. However, we're not employed by nor endorsed by ConocoPhillips. But should you have any questions, want to dig into these numbers and see where uh, where you stand and what your retirement picture may look like, uh, just give us a call at 1-800-900-5867. I want to thank everybody for joining me for that quick update. And again, uh, we look forward to talking to you and we hope you have a great day. <music>